Hey, I love you. What I want to talk about today is really about living in between. And what do I mean by living in between? I mean, this world, as you proceed it in an ego view, it is uh, very far from that world you slowly realize and begin to see and feel uh, when you go towards awakening so uh, when you're living in between you are constantly shattered or mm, it is a split like you're cut into two like mm, you see this world and you see it from the ego perspective but you as well begin to see it from a kind of unity perspective so the thing is the programming and the like so to say normal things we do in this world begin to feel very very uncomfortable and in the beginning you try to perhaps mm, tag along and like you excuse yourself for not being like them or you you stop doing certain kind of things what it really comes down to in the end it's like everything like Every habit you ever had, every ritual you ever had, mm, you change all. Like you change on a fundamental level and you see no meaning in going into stores and looking to clothes and perhaps you don't even see meaning to go into like food stores either because you turn over to be a Britarian, perhaps half wives, uh, half time or or you cannot be half time Britarian but half time fasting and or you might completely been able to go without food so anyway sometimes it's a struggle because nothing is the same you do nothing the way you do used to do things so the chemicals you you don't want the chemicals the same way you don't perhaps use shampoo or soap or anything like this because you find alternative which doesn't tell a story about being clean but you become really clean so now um it is hard, I feel, because I do want, not want to sit on chairs. It is making me so uncomfortable to sit on chairs. I want to sit on the floor. Mm. Before I used to excuse that or do it, you know, a little smooth. But I just realized it's like if you sit on the floor, people think you are weird, and that is okay. As long as I can sit on the floor because I don't want to sit on chairs. It is so much stuff you do like. I don't want to have a bed anymore because I don't think it feels good to sleep that way. And then, well, three, I probably said like habits. I think it is very beneficial when you do. Mm, spiritual practices like well, which type of habits is the best one but I get three and those three are extreme so if you do those three things and you're gonna turn over like big time um, so if you people who do it like just a little like mm, they are into some yoga class every now and then uh, they will, will not want to do this rituals. Anyway, those two, two rituals are 
first most important i said it before but feel the body always be in constant feeling the body why because the body is your only you could say the breathing as well but i say feeling the body because it's your doorway to the now you cannot think the same time as you feel so always feel the body no matter where you are where you're going always feel the body and when you do a meditation you do the same you feel all of the body it's simple but it works so the thing is you will want to have a habit of always feeling the body because it, it brings you to that dimension when you are just awareness you are not the body then you are the awareness of everything so that type of habit when you begin to transmute the pain and that what it does to you it is make you move very fast like for example if someone wants to hit you of course no one wants to hit you but if someone should you will respond faster than them because you or if you drop something on the floor you will before it's like reach the floor you will be able to grab it because you become that fast so feel the body always the two other rituals which i feel for now really make change you one is sun gazing like staring into the sun and when the sun are um like the highest on the like 12 o'clock or one o'clock then it's very very strong so a method you can do then you could just watch with this eye so you will hold in front of one and watch with this one because this one receives and this one gives so you get it uh, with the left one you want to receive and the right eye gives so uh just there with this one and the trick then is also uh, you gotta feel the body because if you do not feel the body and at the same time you sun gaze if you perhaps begin to think then it's gonna going to hurt in your eyes so that is the type of um you can measure it that way how uh, deep you are able to go into trance because if you think uh, it is going to hurt because you move back to this dimension you cannot sun, sun gaze from a ego state of mind so that's why you want to feel the body the same time when you sun gaze or you can focus on this point so another thing you can do um, if you're like new to sun gazing and um, you can also push hair at the same time you're staring at the sun and you push hair or you can hold something like this, like hold in front of one eye and push here. Because then you're going to recognize, realize there is much easier um, to become, to stay in that trance state. So then you can just stare into the sun and you don't have to blink or anything because all you do is receive the light. And this is a very strong spiritual practice, extremely strong. So when you begin to do this a lot you're really going over and what i mean by that, by that is some you change so much when you've done this so i so you i don't try to sell anything so i might as well tell you like the things who are not so good with it but i still recommend you do it but you can like uh you see more colors you see things who don't exist in time space and when you see people from a distance you see just perhaps light around their eyes and you see their more their consciousness than how they look like so your view is totally changed and it can be harder to read and such stuff because you, when you read you very focused to but you you can practice so you can still read if you like to but um, your your use your eyes in a more fully way so to speak 
The third thing, this is, this I didn't want to tell you. I'm going to tell you it anyway. Mm, this is a real, real secret, because the other two, I can like totally stand for those two. Mm, I can stand for this one as well, but I know it's going to uh, come ty some type of reaction with this. And many people will hesitate, um, but I still, if you want to go all the way, if you want to do transmute to know the truth, I still recommend it because it's very very good. The thing is what I recommend as the third spiritual practice because there is thousands of ones but this I feel like this tree really changed you. So I'm going to tell you now. It is urine therapy like you drink your own urine. And people can be like oh, I do not want to do that. They seem extremely gross. But the thing is, it feels a little bit gross, like the first time you do it. Um, but then it becomes so clean. So, like, when you have done it for a couple of days, you will not mm, feel that it's, like, uh, disgusting or anything like that. But the th what it does, it does, like, totally, totally cleans you. And it makes it easier for you to uh, fasting, or it makes it easier for you to talk, uh, anyway, choose just good, better food because you you are more connected. And for one thing that it does, it keeps you young, like very, very much. It's like receiving the aging process. Like you will look so much younger than your real age when you when you drink your own urine mm. so now I tell you this I tell you this because I feel like knowledge is power and I am so blessed for be being thought those things because if someone haven't told, told me I will be so much in pain I am still in pain but I anyway transmute the pain I'm just not suffering I feel it and I go through it mm. and to do spiritual practice is like a shortcut it is when you get like the right information and by the way when you try when you apply different type of information always mm, listen to your body how does it feel to do this? How does my body respond to this? So if it feels good, keep on doing it. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it then. So, but urine therapy, that is really, really good. And like, I would even recommend to like, mm, stop with all chemicals, by the way. Stop with shampoo. Take urine in your hair. Stop with every type of chemical you have and what was I going to say drink like a lot of the urine treat it like your gold because that is like the thing with the urine I didn't used to know this but it's very very healing so like don't don't like take it ever in the toilet chair like save all of it or you just try to drink as much as you can because it is like it is like very 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 clean you are not probably think it is but it's very very good so you can do research on this also of course I don't know very much about it I know I do it and I feel awesome and I know I don't age. Uh, many people say I look like like I am 18 or 20 and I am 30 years old. So I know I don't have to age. But it is also because of the other practice. And because of I don't believe in aging. And I don't get sick. Because I don't believe in getting sick. So it's all about what you believe in. But there will still be people telling you otherwise. They will tell you like. 
no. You cannot stop eating. That is not possible. You cannot not ever go sick. That is not possible. People will tell you this stuff, but don't believe that crap because you are the creator. You create whatever you like. So, I hope you try all of these things if you, you, you probably already do these things. Mm -hmm. But I tell you them anyway because they are awesome. So awesome. And I love you. And take care. Just goodbye.